What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. But what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard's Sob. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not Madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Yep. You found him, our zebra. <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh, dear. You're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? 
our audiences. <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassuing some poor beast on the plains of mumbo jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There, in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as, as, long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Let's get... Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion's from uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. I'm gonna you paint this dog? There's pigment here. Look, like, like blood to me. Well, what's this? Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. But your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <laughs> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. And you find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. <coughs> Scrubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Oh, 
I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Your thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, uh, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, thinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how do you end up in this wreck? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell me. In this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope. One day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be the female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out? Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing round here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go, whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theater. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Yeah, boy. 
Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. <laughs> Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Just returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> a knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is rum, old boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! <laughs> You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. 